Right, what's up guys, it's JD Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you another one of my podcast-esque videos. Today I'm going to be talking a little, little bit more about Syria, but more recently, uh, more recent development basically, in which Russia has decided to go and bomb certain places in Syria, and you all know that when Russia gets involved, shit hits the fan. And once again, this has turned out to be true, because Russia are quite a corrupt and not very humane country basically and um, basically what the Russians have been doing is they've been saying that they are going in to bomb Syria to get rid of ISIS but what they seem to be doing is helping that they are going to basically be helping out their ally the president of Syria like Al Assad I think his surname is and they're they're basically just bombing any opposition to him whether it's ISIS whether it's like political parties, anything, they are just going in that way. They are doing something to help ISIS, they're going and bombing a city called Raqqa, I want to say, Uh, I think it's called Raqqa, yeah, the IS strong kind of Raqqa, but they've also bombed places like Aleppo and uh, Hama and like other places like Idlib provinces, which have a little IS presence, according to BBC News. And I'm kind of just thinking, like, there's a scary world we're living in right now. Do you really... I'm not entirely sure I feel safe about whether what Russia are going in and doing. They always seem to be the centre of controversy, don't they, Russia? But all these bombs and stuff that are going off, it is kind of a little bit scary about how they seem to be going along and not really caring what other people are saying about that what they're doing is wrong. Places like the UK, US, Turkey... Have oh, have issued like warnings to Russia saying you're going about this in the wrong way. Stop or we'll impose sanctions, sort of thing. But they really don't seem to care. The uh, head of foreign affairs for Russia, Alexei Pushkov, who's a scary bloke, has said that the strike could last three to four months, which is a long ass time. And he also said, this is a direct quote from him. That the US had only pretended to bomb IS and that Russia would be doing a lot more effective job. Which is pretty damn scary in my opinion. They're going to kill a lot of innocent people they already have. Quite frankly it's disgusting the actions that they have undertaken. It just isn't on. You'd kind of expect. And it's Russia though. I'm not sure you can expect them to have any human decency. It's kind of a scary. Scary thoughts going on in the world right now. And I honestly don't know what to think of it anymore. It's kind of getting to the point where are we going to deal with IS or are we just going to let them go? <laughs> you can't just let them go though. They're just such an awful organisation that just needs to be stopped straight away. They're putting other Muslims' lives at risk due to their extremism. Like, I'm not going to like put any punches where saying I'm not a fan of religion, but I'm not going to say like I'm not. I'm not going to hold it against someone if they're religious. If you know what I mean. I couldn't really care less whether you were Christian, Muslim, atheist, Jewish, whatever like that. But these people are giving a bad reputation to the entire, like, to all of Islam and all its followers, which isn't really fair. Only 0.03% of Muslims are in ISIS. And only about 9% of Muslims support ISIS. It is 7 or 9% and, like, there's another number floating around in there. But the problem is is that it doesn't take many supporters to fuel extremism. If you go back to Nazi Germany, only 7% of Germans supported Hitler. So it kind of shows how bad things can get even with a small majority of support from your people. But if they're influential people and they're rich, you can get ahead of a long way. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you have enjoyed this podcast I've done. It's not really a podcast, but discussion video we've had. I do enjoy doing them anyway. I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys.